Okay, guys. What's up? What's up? What's up? <sighs> so let me try to see if I can see myself on my other computer. And yes, I can. All right. Just better not put that volume on. <laughs> um, all right. So, is it 8 o'clock? 8 o'clock? Not yet. It's not 8 o'clock yet. So, hopefully some of you guys hop on here. I know this is still a new group. But this is going to be a uh, a permanent <laughs> segment that we're going to do... I don't know if I'm going to do it weekly or monthly or, or how we're going to do it yet, but it's called the cash seat. And the premise is, the premise of this is all about having a member in this group get in the cash seat. And then we, as uh, other members of the group, are going to ask uh, this member question uh, questions and then we're going to try to attempt to help them either uh, create more cash flow with what they're already doing or give them some uh, cash flow ideas if they're not doing anything yet okay so tonight is Tammy now she's uh, supposed to be here um, she did say that she might have a um, uh, an issue, Tammy does uh, uh, rescue, cat rescue stuff, just like I do. So she is waiting for a, a vet call. Um, but we definitely need her here because I don't know uh, too much about her her situation, how she's uh, you know, generating cash, besides what she posted in this, in this group. Hey, Tammy. Um, okay, Tammy, so... No, I'm trying. I'm thinking this is probably not the best format to use for this. Um, so you guys are all a part of this as it as it happens, like the beginning. So why don't you? Um, we'll make do for right now. Why don't you in the comments, Tammy, uh, the best you can, write how you're making cash flow now. Like just type out how you're making cash flow, what you're doing to generate cash, and maybe what you'd like to be doing. And they might be some of the same, and that's okay. So write that down in the comments, and then uh, I'll be able to help you. How come I couldn't even see that you were on? So I gotta be. I gotta figure this stuff out. Uh, while you're writing, I am going to try to figure out why I could not see that you are on. How can I see that in the future? This will definitely, when we when we make this a um, more consistent thing, we're going to definitely use a different uh, format uh, because ideally we would want me and Tammy talking at the same time and then you guys uh, giving some feedback in, in, in the comments. Hey, George. George is here. Um, George, can you hear me all right? If you can hear me, just post them in the comments, please. Um. Yes, George is in it to win it. So, George, we're figuring some stuff out right now. Tab, Tammy's taping some, typing some stuff up. Uh, I don't know if you heard me in the very beginning, but, of course, this is the first one, and I've already realized, I already realized that this is a bad format to use. <laughs> uh, thanks, George. Um, so this is good. We're going we're gonna to work through this one right now and then by the next time we do one we're gonna have a different format uh so me and whoever's in the cash seat uh will be able to communicate and then uh, the other members that are watching can you know kind of give their feedback in in the chat so we'll figure that out for next time uh for right now tammy is uh typing away hopefully uh and then george myself and whoever else might be on here I still have to figure out how I can tell. See, I didn't know George was here until George made a comment and liked the video. Mm -hmm. I have to figure this out, guys. But see, that's the thing. When we when we have a different uh, format, then I'll be able to tell, right? Um, but this is cool for right now. 
We're winging it, guys. Um, one of my sayings is entrepreneurs figure shit out. Entrepreneurs figure shit out and entrepreneurs get shit done. <laughs> so we're going to get shit done right now, even though uh, it's not ideal. Tammy, how you coming along? Maybe you don't have to write like a whole book. You could just maybe do chunks so George and I can get our, um, our brains going on it. <laughs> and, oh, and the reason I'm looking over here, guys, is I'm actually watching my other monitor to see when you guys make comments. <laughs> don't want you to think that uh, I'm just wacky. And what if I hit this button? What's this going to do? I'm going to probably screw stuff up. Okay, there. Tammy has some stuff written down. Actually, hold on one second, guys. She says, I do daycare to help make ends meet to pay the bills. What I'm trying to do to generate cash flow and to make a living slash business is I have been teaching myself to sew this year. Now I am making and selling homemade pet beds, catnip toys, microwavable rice packs, seat belt covers, pillows, and some pre-made fashion jewelry. Okay. So, Tammy, how much, first, first question is how much, but I am working to only make the next project. Ah, I got you. Okay. Okay. Got you. Okay. So, how much cash, first of all, do you want to generate, Tammy? And is it Tammy or Tammy Joe? Like, which do you prefer? Oh, my kitty cat Spencer's here. He's going to help you, too. Got my trusty little notebook here, too. Buddy, you can come up here if you want. Come on. Oh, see, Tammy Joe, look what you got. You even got Spencer here to help you. All right, Tammy. So how much cash are you, cash flow are you looking to generate from this bit, Spencer, from this uh, business uh, thing that you're doing on the side? Spence, I can't see what you're sitting there, baby. You're a good boy. Scooch me gooch. Scooch me gooch, boy. Look, I can say it's right here. George, you taking all this in? You're a good boy, Spency. I would like to make enough to support the house and bills. In a perfect world, $3,000 a month. Now, you said in a perfect world. Would $3,000, but I'm ex not expecting that to happen. Um, so the $3,000, is that what you want or is that what you need to just pay the bare minimum of bills, Tammy? Like if you made $3,000, that would like cover your bills and give you money left over or what is that $3,000? And George, if you have any ideas for Tammy, uh, based on the information she just gave us, but that uh, you can feel free to post them in the uh, the comments, George. So uh, that would pay your the bill and the food, the bills and the food for all. So that wouldn't leave you with anything left over to like do shit, you know. <laughs> Tammy says, "Hey, Spencer." He says, "Hi." You're a good boy, buddy. Mm -hmm. 
No, not real metal. Okay, so <laughs> not really, but you're used to that. It's okay. Um, it's okay that you type so. Okay, so in a perfect world, you're telling me that you would just like to pay the bills and pay all the food. That doesn't sound like a perfect world to me, girl. Okay? <laughs> but how about we just go off of your $3,000, and then once you hopefully hit that, then we will talk about a real perfect world because you need to be able to have money left over and have fun and, you know, do shit in life, right? And this is a problem that I see. <laughs> This guy. This is a problem that I see a lot in, personally, I see a lot in the, uh, like the rescue field. You know, like a lot, it's like a lot of folks don't have any money. Okay. So, how much cash flow are you generating right now uh, doing what you're doing with Tammy? Buddy, you're so good. Oh, and Tammy, if you have to um, take that phone call, can you just type in the chat real fast and let me know? Um, okay, so about $800 for daycare and, a current, and anywhere from $40 to $200 with the beds. $40 to two. What? Well, okay, so that doesn't even come close to $3,000. So how are you living right now? Oh, okay, awesome. Good, good, good. So that's like a thousand bucks max. So how are you paying the bills now if you really need three thousand dollars? Is there someone else that helps with the bills as well? Sorry, we're getting all personal and shit. <laughs> Oh, okay. So you take care of your mom. Is that right? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand that. Okay. Um, all right. So where are you selling these things at right now? Like, do you have a link that you can type in the post in the chat box that we can see? And what are your price points of the products? I think I read somewhere you were, you were selling them on Facebook or something. Sorry, guys, I promise next time this will be, uh, this will go smoother because we'll have a different uh, method. Like me and Tammy will actually be speaking to one another instead of me making her type in here. Okay, what's your, what's your Facebook group? Aren't I, I think I'm a member of it, right? I forget what your name was called, the, uh, your Facebook page. Okay, what's your what's your Facebook page? Cats, pots, cats. Cats, paw. Okay. So Tammy's got a Facebook group. 
which is good. She's got 449 members, which is way more than this group has now, right? So that's good. Yes, I'm I'm in that I'm in the group I'm looking at. The other is imperfectly created. Well, can you give me the imperfectly created link? And it's okay that it's imperfect because I'll tell you this, and this goes for everybody, guys. Um, don't worry about perfection. Just get it out there. Okay, don't worry about stuff being perfect. Just get it out there so you can sell stuff. All right, because if, you, if you're waiting for something to be perfect, and you're not putting it out to the world, you're not selling shit. Okay? Um, do you have a link to what you're talking about? And I'm on your page. I mean, your group. Um, if you want to leave for a minute, you can leave and then copy the link. And in the meantime, I'm going to keep looking at your page. And George, uh, what was your question that you had? You can type it in the chat box if you want. Go ahead, Tommy. Take a minute and, and grab that link. All right, let me see here. Wow, George, that was fast. Yeah, George is saying, um, web, website, Tammy, try to get a web page going. And I'm not a pro, but it would be good to just focus on one idea, like for pets. People love pets, and they will buy anything for pets. The more you make, the more you will sell. Just my idea, open up an online pet shop for sales. Love it, George. Yeah, definitely we need to focus, right? That's what George is getting at. Focus, focus, focus. Um, hey, Glenn. Glenn, do you hear any of this that's going on so far? So first of all, I discovered right away that this is a bad format for this. But we're going to make do for right now. <laughs> So basically, Tammy is the one in the cash seat, uh, Glenn. And if you scroll up, you can hear, or not hear, but see her situation. All right. Tammy posted another link here. Let's see what this is. 23 people. Imperfectly created designs. Um... All right, guys, I'm checking this out. That, guys, I think you all can go. You can all go on that. Oh, all right, George. Yeah, we're not going to answer. Uh, we're not going to talk about ATM stuff on this. This is uh, the cash sheet's all about Tammy. So, yeah, we'll definitely talk about that afterwards. Um... Sorry about that, George. So, Tammy. Tammy, did you see uh, George's... Oh, there we go. Beds are $35. Tammy, how long, does it co co how long does it take you to make a bed? And how much does it cost you if you sell it for $35? I don't even know what the hell a rice pack is. Pillows. Eight and twelve dollars. Seat belt covers. Eight each. Twelve set. Oh, all right. So, okay. First thing is first, do you want to concentrate on pet stuff or just random stuff? Let's get that out of the way first because this rice pack thing is 
sticks out to me like it doesn't fit in. <laughs> and where do you get your most profit? What do you want to concentrate on? Like, is it pet stuff or rice packs sell the best? Okay. Who, where do you make your most money from? Do you have the biggest profit margin with the rice packs or do you have it with the pillows or the beds or what? So you sell it for X, your costs are this, and then your profit is left over. What has the biggest profit margin? And I'm not asking how many, who, who, which one you sell the most of. That's not what I'm asking, right? So which do you make the most money from after you cover your expenses? Seatbelt covers. Okay, tell me about these seatbelt covers. They're eight, to, what are, what, like, and this is going to sound stupid, but what, what are they exactly? <laughs> seatbelt covers. Hmm. I'm going to Google it while you're, uh... okay, stop making the beds then. First thing, beds cost more to make and you're lucky to make 100% back. So how much do the, how mu well, how much do the beds cost to make? I just want to talk about that real quick. Then we're going to go back to the seatbelt covers. How much do the beds cost to make, Tammy? About fifteen to twenty dollars, and do you make the customer pay shipping, or do you include that? They pay, and you told me. I think you told me up here. It can take you a few hours to a couple days to make a bed. Okay, now when you say a couple days to make a bed, how many hours per day are you talking about? Because clearly we're not talking about like eight hours for a couple days, right? <laughs> I hope not, Tammy. Because right now, if the bed costs 20 bucks and you sell for 35, you're only making $15 profit. However, it took you three days to make the bed, you're losing money. Right? I mean, that's too much time. And Glenn, if you want to um, get caught up, Tammy's... Um, Sells uh, pet beds, rice packs, pillows, seatbelt covers. Um, she's her goal is to reach three thousand dollars. Right now, she's making eight hundred dollars with daycare and anywhere from forty to two hundred dollars selling her stuff. Unfortunately, she's using mom's social security to pay for the rest, and she'd like to stop doing that. Anywhere from three to six hours a day or three to six hours total. Yeah, just even just even if it's one time. I, I honestly would stop making the beds right now, Tammy. Stop making the beds. <laughs> That's my two cents. George, Glenn, whoever else is here, what do you think? So if it takes you six hours to make, where's my thing at? Here, if it takes you six hours, your profit is 15 after your expenses, divided by six hours, you made $2.50 an hour. 
You can go get a job at Walmart, make more than that. You can get a job flipping burgers, make more than that. Right? And you can only make one. Like, you can't make five beds at one time, right? You know, if you make five beds, it's going to cost take you 15 to 30 hours. It's not like you can make a couple beds in that one three-hour time period. Does that make sense? All right, so I would stop making the beds. Seriously, I'd stop making them. Um, there you go. Post on a group. All right, and she has a group. However, the group she has, these beds that you're talking about, Tammy, are they pet beds? Yeah, that's a good question. What kind of bed is it, Tammy? Is it a pet bed or what kind of bed is it? I can't wait till we get the new method. It'll be so much better than this. <laughs> you just got to wait for Tammy to answer the question. Tammy, you still with me? What kind of bed is it? Is it a pet bed, a cat bed, a dog bed? I say stop making the beds. Glenn, what do you think? George, what do you think about these beds? These rice packs. These rice packs are interesting. Can you guys still hear me? Oh, shit. This is not updating over here, but I see it over here. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Wait, I don't know why I can't see it over here. Hold on one second, guys. I'm looking on this screen, and I don't see anything, and you guys are talking over here. Shit. Hold on.